right then, are we live? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Writer Showcase number 31. This is our 31st showcase, and uh, I'm going to start off in my journal. So, of course, we are still recruiting. We need path seekers, word bearers. If you need to know what those jobs are, just send me a note and just make sure you have time. Uh, in terms of gaming recruitment, um, I still need someone for my Heroes and Storm series just to fill in some extra time slots. But uh, yeah, so that one's separate to this, so don't worry about that. Maybe I'll get my co star back, I don't know, yeah, we're, we're seeing the situation's a bit rocky, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to start with the first poem for today. It is Sour, Sweet, and Bitter by Psychosis is Real. So Jen, this one's for you. Alright, let's see this. This world is sour, with the faults of humans that run amok. So many sweet things corrupted by the creatures that supposedly adapt. But in the end, it'll all be bitter, when the sun expands. Or we destroy ourselves. Sour, sweet, and bitter. That was a good piece. So that was by Psychosis is Real, and I completely forgot to do the uh, writer intro. So this is Jenny, she's female from the United Kingdom, uh, deviant for four months, she watches me, and she's got 132 deviations, so please come check them out. Moving on now, we have Lifeline by Rainbow Hunter. This time I'll do the intro at the start. Uh, this is Flash, she's male from the United Kingdom as well. He's been a demon for two years, and he's got 23 deviations, so come check them out. Okay. Are you ready for Lifeline? A simple strip of white, tether, holding in soul and pain at once. Turnicet. Turnicet. That holds me here. Teetering. Had I the courage to hold on, tighter, or the will to let go, forever. So that was another good piece. Um, Lifeline. I think I'll resonate with a lot of people. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Next is What I Wish For, also by Psychosis is Real. Sakurai, did you put two by the same person in? <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so this is Jenny, female from the United Kingdom, demon for four months, 132 deviations. She watches me. Please come check her out. Okay, I rushed through that intro because you already know who Jenny is, but let's do this. This year I wish for a pony, not a real one, one made of fluff and fabric. This year I wish for boots, nice boots with a fur lining and buckles. This year I wish for acceptance, not false sayings, honest and true. This year I wish for you, my true love, who can hold me tight every night. Hmm. Hmm. Jen, why must you write things that resonate so well with me that they hurt me? Why must you do this to me? You do find great entertainment. Now I'm just kidding. All right, so that was a fantastic piece. That was What I Wish For by Psychosis is Real. Moving on, we have Christmas Wish and a Glace into the... Glace into the abyss? Am I reading that right? I hope so. Okay. Hmm. This is Stephen Stoll, male from the United States. You must have seen him before because I've done quite a few of his uh, poems in the readings. Uh, he's been a demon for one year and he's got 133 deviations, so please come check them out. Are you ready? This is Christmas Wish and a Glace into the Abyss. I can't wait for my new mask. Uh, hopefully you guys will like it. I'll be using it when I game. Maybe when I read. Because I sound very different when I wear a mask. Okay, ready? This year's wish list. Not a thing I can fathom, but for one single person. How I wish we could spend a snowy day by the fire together, her and I. Sipping hot chocolate and plotting for our future. But this is an ungrantable wish, it seems. I shall be limited by the pay for my mistakes. Words must be used sparingly, cooped up inside this minuscule home so close to her, one of the most trustworthy, ruined by a single mistake. I have an eye for the bleak, there's no stopping that. Do you know what's darker than black? I understand if you don't know. I've looked into the void today, every day almost, in fact. Have you? Do you know what horrors lie in the abyss? Because I do. Alright, so that was Christmas Wish and a Glace into the Abyss by... Lone Jedi 100. Please do go check him out. That was another fantastic piece. It really resonated with me, and uh, it resonated for reasons that I really shouldn't... Uh, I'm lazy to talk about these reasons, because they open wounds that really, really hurt. But that's alright. We all make mistakes sometimes, and we must, you know, slowly pay for them, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, my hair's a bit messy today, so I mess with it a lot. Ugh, I kind of want to just fulfill it, and I don't care anymore. Okay, so next we have Light Prompt 48 by Cat Servant. This is 
Cat7, male from the United States, Deviant for 4 years, 5,425 deviations. He loves to write and he loves to do these short pieces, so do come check him out. He's been in every uh, prompt-based reading, so really, you should recognize him by now. Are you ready? The world is my stage, and I merely a player, playing many parts. Oh, this stage is beneath my talent, but I shall elevate it. <gasps> and yes, that was Jin's voice line from League of Legends. I don't play, but um, apparently I do that character's particular voice well, so I've been told to, so I practice it a lot. I'm getting better, getting better. Okay, so that was Light Prompt 48 by Cat Servant. Hope you enjoyed that. Moving on, we have Mirror Not Mirror by SF. So this is Jeff, he's male from the United States, Steven for 5 years with 23 deviations, please do come check them out, maybe he might write more. And hey, Wonder Fen, haven't seen that in a while, haven't seen that in a while. Anyway, Fen, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Come back to us soon, we miss you. Alright. Mirror, not mirror, I see myself clearer. The love unrequited, madness of the committed. Mirror, not mirror, I see my pain clearer, lonely and abused, exploited and used. Mirror, not mirror, I see my worth clearer, that I am not undeserving of the things of my yearning. Mirror, not mirror, please see yourself clearer, the suffering we have known need not be borne alone. Mirror, not mirror, I beg you shine clearer, fate needn't be to corrode and bend, for it may yet be possible to shine true till the end. Resonates, resonates, I like this one, um, speaks to me because personal experience. The mirror might not be showing you what you like, but who needs that mirror anyway? I am better mirror than that mirror. Let me tell you that. I tell you the truth. You no need mirror. <laughs> okay, so that was Mirror Not Mirror by SF. Moving on, we have Steps by My Eternal Escape. Seriously, that would be such a good band name. My Eternal Escape. Okay, so this is Batman, female from the United States. Deviant for five years. 413 deviations. So you should check them out. Check her out. <laughs> okay, so this is Batman. Please come and check them out. Uh, ready? This is Steps. One step forward, two steps back. I thought I made progress. I was blind to what I lacked. I didn't see the mountain, foreboding and tall. I didn't see the quicksand at which I, start I was starting to fall. I kept my eyes forward, focused on the prize. I never noticed the fairy tale was spun out of lies. Reality came and crashed all around, leaving new weights to keep me bound. I keep pushing on and paving my way, but it's always one step forward and two steps away. I know it's to be two steps back, but somehow I felt like two steps away would be better. But anyway, it's two steps back, and that is Steps by My Eternal Escape. Beautiful stuff. Very relatable, too. So please do come check her out. All right, so the last one we have, oh, second last one we have for today is The Resistance by Shard Sharp 2000. You'll see why it's the second last one, even though it's the last tab. There's something special I have to read for you. But anyway, this is Blizzard, male from unknown, Deviant for one year, 133 deviations. Please come check them out. Are you ready? Even with the storm around, we'll yet remain here and wait till it ends. Terror can't make us flee. We'll fight back instead, till it is dead. This is what we fight for, for good and not our deaths. Beautiful stuff right there. So that is The Resistance. And it was based off Terminator, so... Good stuff there. Now I've got one last little thing that I have to read for you guys. Uh, but you won't actually see it here, okay? Um, I'm actually just going to read it. It's by someone who wishes to remain anonymous, so here, you can stare at, um, you can stare at the writer gang. Why don't I make you stare at the writer gang? Let's go stare at the writer gang, shall we? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, yep, yeah, so, do come check out our stuff, and this is an anonymous poem. I don't even think it has a title, but the person who wrote it, wrote it really well. You ready? You may not see me now. But maybe it's best that you don't. For the state that I'm in might make you very afraid, or very disappointed. For every time you come on, there would be something or other that I would complain about. No, knowing you, you'd look past that, past the sad being I am, and cheer me up anyway. 
Only, now that you're not here to pull me back to my senses, I want to try, at least try, to become half the person you saw me as. So that when you do return, you can be proud of what I have become. Not only does it resonate with me, it's also true. I do hope that someday... And no, I'm not going to break into Nickelback, although I know Miko would expect me to, but... Um, I'm not going to break into Nickelback. No, no, no. Okay, fine, just a little bit. Someday, somehow, gonna make it alright, but not right now. Okay, but anyway, that was a very lovely piece by someone who wants to remain anonymous. So let's just let them remain anonymous, but they wrote that beautifully, and it resonates really well with me. So, I hope that when they come back, they can be proud of me too. But that's just how life goes. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, and of course... Like, share, and subscribe. Sorry about my messy hair. It's because I went out today to get dinner and, like, ugh, I hate doing my hair. On normal nights, it's just weird. When I go out, it's fine, but uh, it just gets messy. Yeah, I'm just going to mess it up. Okay, so, guys, I'm going to see you all next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.